I'm going to tell you about a real incident that happened in my life. This happened many years ago. It had to have been about two years since we had gotten married. My wife and I used to live alone in our house, and ever since we got married, her health started to slowly decline as the days passed on. She would be sick all the time. We visited many doctors, but that didn't help. And so, one day, while I was discussing the situation with one of my friends, he told me that he had known someone, someone who could possibly help us. The man he was referring to was a shaman, and my friend suggested that we visit him right away. We agreed, and in the same week, all three of us visited the temple where the shaman resided. We met the shaman in the temple and explained everything to him. He listened carefully, and after we were done, he performed a ritual. After the ritual was completed, the shaman told us, Someone has done black magic on your wife. It appears they have sent a woman after your wife, and this woman aims to destroy her life. The ritual shows that the same woman has been tormenting her for the past two years. That woman is preventing her health from becoming good. Then, the shaman suddenly paused. Hmm, have you noticed anything drawn with a piece of coal? On the walls of your house, maybe? They should be right next to your main door. Yes, there was a small doll-like figure drawn on our walls. I never had paid much attention, as I thought it was done by one of the neighborhood kids. The shaman said, No, no, this is not a drawing of a child. In fact, this is the source of the black magic that is cursing your house. Not only that, right on top of your main door, you should find a small piece of wood hidden there. Go and remove it immediately. Throw it away. Throw it far away from your house. And then, what I want you to do, listen carefully, is to clean the whole house with gang's water. Do that, and come back to me again next week. We rush back to our home. The first thing we did upon reaching the house was properly clean the whole home. We started by washing away all the strange figures drawn on the house walls. Just as the shaman had said, when I checked on top of the main door, I found a small piece of wood hidden inside a black cloth. I immediately took it out and threw it as far away as I could. Two days later, while me and my wife were both fast asleep in our bed, all of a sudden, at around 12.40 a.m., one of the legs of the bed had snapped. The bed frame crumbled as we both woke fast from our sleep. We decided it was best that we would remove the mattress and lay it on the floor. We slowly started to drift back to sleep when all of a sudden, the fan stopped working and all the lights started flickering. My wife got very scared as she jumped into my arms. I held her tight and did my best to console her, when all of a sudden, everything stopped. The room became pitch black. In fact, the darkness filled the whole house. I decided to get up and light a candle just to provide my wife with some small light. We both settled back into bed, and for the most part, fell asleep. But this time, I didn't sleep very deeply, as I was met with a very scary dream. In the dream, I saw a woman, a dark figure, and she kept chasing me. Wherever I would go, she would chase right after me. And then, just as though I thought I had lost her, she appeared right in front of me and said, I will not spare your wife. I will never let her have a baby. 
I will make her life a living hell. And you too will never have a happy life, ever. And then she started laughing. I immediately shot up, sweating. My eyes went directly to the clock, and it was 3.20 a.m. After that, I didn't go back to sleep. I laid in my bed, looking at the ceiling. Until the next morning. I looked at my wife, and I had told her about the dream, and about the woman. She was very scared. We decided to go back to the shaman again, and told him everything. He smiled and said, Hmm. Don't worry. I have made you a tawij for both of you to wear upon your necks. He gave us the tawij and asked us to do a small ritual in the temple. While doing the ritual, the shaman held some white mustard seeds in his hand, recited a mantra, and threw the seeds onto the fire. We both returned home, and since that day my wife's health started getting better. In fact, she never felt sick again. Each day passed, my wife became stronger, and her life returned to normal. With one exception, we would never come to know who did the black magic, or the reason for it. And it's that thought alone that keeps us up at night. It's that constant fear or wondering what we did wrong. Why would somebody curse us? Why would that person go to the extent of using black magic? Well, friends, how'd you like today's story? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications for this channel to listen each and every weekday for more real horror stories. We got a ton of amazing real horror stories, and we're dying to share them with you. So until then, stay out of the dark, and stay tuned for our next video.